He's preparing to unleash his insurrection. Liquid is lying in wait in a Middle Eastern war zone. Track him down. Only two eggs today? Solidus must have taken the day off. Seven, eight, nine, two, five, nine, oh, three, six, oh, seven, three, three, oh, five, three, oh, five, four, eight, eight, two, oh, four, six, six, five, two. What's the situation? I'm just inside the city limits. This place is crawling with lizards. Ah, AT Corps' unmanned bipedal weapons. Officially designated Irving by the US military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned. Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. You really think he's here? You'll have to find the army's operatives and ask them yourself. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. You'll find it up ahead. Mark II? It's a remote mobile terminal. Sonny and I built it. The Mark II will provide you with a map of the area as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Okay, got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the actual walkthrough. All right, we're cheated to auto camo. This is uh, sort of an upgrade to the regular camo in Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh, instead of going manually going changing in your camo, now it automatically um, your camo index automatically uh, blends into your surroundings instead of you going back and forth, which is a very nice feature. This is your uh, menu screen. So far, we only have two weapons. We have our stun knife, and uh, we have an AK machine gun. Assault rifle, I should say. Now, when you uh, play through the game again, uh, there's um, there's different. You can, once you find the Mark II. Uh, you can have your same game states and have a lot of your weapons, but since we're starting fresh, um, we've only got uh, two weapons with us right now. Avoid unnecessary combat whenever possible. In this war, neither side is your enemy. There's no point whatsoever in you getting into a fight. Got it? Well, what Autocon said is, is, is true. However, what I'm going to show you guys later is that you can choose a side, and that'll help you out. Uh, later on, once you um, once you like choose a side and have people have a side help you out, it, it actually makes the game a whole lot easier. Now that's the uh, arsenal compressed. 
that um, relaxes your muscles because Snake is is, is older. Um, he's not as healthy as he used to be, so he needs muscle relaxants to help him out in battle, especially when he's in positions such as that, uh, the sitting crouching position he's in for an extended period of time, and that uh, helps you with the stress meter there. Now go through here, um, crawl as much as you can. Uh, that'll help you in being un unavoided, uh, undetectable. Stop momentarily every once in a while so that your camel index fits your surroundings. Now crawl through this hole. Don't go through here through yet though because um, you might get spotted by a soldier. Ouchies. Anyway, wait for a little bit. Wait for the... The soldier to... Crawl away, or walk away. So, this world is very expansive. There's so many different paths you can take to go to your goal. Um... I choose this way because for me it's a whole lot easier following this soldier right here, following these soldiers as I say. Um, there's ones that will pop up right here in a little bit. Now that's where our goal uh, we need to go. Almost get spotted right there. Luckily, I didn't. And I see Snake right there is uh, agitated because he's getting cramped. His muscles are getting cramped. We can use that compress if we wanted to, but uh, we're going to hold off on that right now. So now we're in the next area. There's actually another path you can take, which I should have shown you guys. Um, now I'll be honest here, I died already, so um, I died in this part right here. So um, not exactly right here, but a little further on. So I'll be coming back to this area again. I still haven't gotten used to the controls yet. I should say again because uh, I've, I've played this game and beat this game. Um, I need to play it over again uh, for a little while longer so that I familiarize myself with the controls again. Now here's a funny little scene that I just wanted to show you guys before um, we end the video. And it's actually a pretty good way to uh, hide yourself if there's any soldiers around. If you do it several times, this is what happens. Whoops. <laughs> Very nice. Anyway, getting back to the walkthrough. Um, you want to hide, hide through here for a little bit. Uh, go through in one of these lockers right here, and you'll be treated to a health drink. A re regen. So I'll see you guys in part four. See you guys. Bye.